Hi again, so this is a very important video where I'm going to teach you how to trace the voltage and power rails in motherboards. We're gonna study in this video two circuit, the CPU circuit and 3 volt, 5 volt circuit because these two circuits are the frequently failed circuits in every motherboard. So I guarantee for you that if you follow me until the end of this video, you will understand 100% how to trace and to track the voltage in the motherboard. Of course, after these videos, I will make for you a real and practical video where I'm going to use the multimeter and a real motherboard and I'm going to show you step by step how to trace the voltage in a real time. Okay, so let's get started. But please, by the way, don't forget to subscribe, share and like the video because your engagement, your likes motivate me to create more and more videos for you. Thank you very much. So as I told you before, we gonna study two circuit. Here we have the first circuit. This circuit is for the CPU or the processor. Then the second circuit will be three volt, five volt circuit. So let's get started. So here, as you can see, this is the controller IC for the CPU. Okay, and here we have the CPU channels. So one of my followers asked me what that channel means the channel means the power source for example for the ram you will just find one power source or one channel that gives to the ram 1.8 volt for example okay but for the cpu you will find two channels three or more that gives the same voltage as you can see here we have plus v core okay and also here we have plus v core because the cpu needs more accurate voltage and in order to avoid overheating of the component and the ic as you can see here and the mosfets we called mini channels okay so here we have the first channel this channel basically contain the main component that every channel should contain including as you can see mosfets inductor and capacitors okay so mosfets inductor capacitors and of course the ice okay so this is the first channel the same for this channel also we have mosfets inductor and capacitors okay so let me speak a little bit about the purpose of each component here so the ic is the controller part it controls these two mosfets or voltage regulators okay so this mosfets are voltage regulators it transform the 19 volt to here the v core 1.1 volt about 1.1 volt okay the inductor increase the current okay the inductor increase the current in order to get enough current and the capacitors here filter the current in order to get a continue voltage okay and of course we have here also these ceramic capacitors and also for this channel this ceramic capacitor so these ceramic capacitors basically remove the noise from the signal okay so in every circuit you will find this component now let's get and trace the voltage so let me pick another color the red color for example here and let me choose this arrow okay and the width let me increase the weight okay so let's get started so here as you can see we have the vn okay this is the vn about 19 volt okay about 19 volt so this vn in order to get this voltage we will get this voltage from this vn okay so this vn as you can see will pass through the ceramic capacitors so here the ceramic capacitors without the ceramic capacitors we will get a bad signal or a bad voltage okay this 19 volt will pass through these capacitors as you can see here and then will goes directly to the drain of this mosfet okay so 
I told you before that this capacitor has as a purpose to eliminate the noise in the circuit. So once 19 volt arrives here in the drain of this MOSFET, this MOSFET should receive the control signal here from this IC. As you can see here, we have the upper gate. So it should receive the control signal in its gate. So once it receives the control signal, of course, these two MOSFET will receive the control signals in the same time. Okay, in the same time. So here we have upper gate for this MOSFET and we have the lower gate as you can see for this MOSFET. So once this MOSFET receives the control signal, it will let the voltage to pass directly here. Okay, to its source. But it's not 19 volt that will be passed. No, the amount of voltage that we sh should be passed here is about 0.3 volt to 1.5 volt because the vehicle, the vehicle, the voltage for processor until now is between 0.3 volt to 1.5 volt depending in the type of the processor depending in the type of the processor okay so let's assume that the vehicle is one volt so here we will get one volt then this voltage should pass through this inductor as you can see so this inductor has a purpose to increase the current okay because this voltage could be and not enough current so here we have inductor that will increase the current and then the voltage will pass through this kill electrolytic capacitor and this electrolytic capacitor in order to get a continue voltage okay in order to get a continue voltage here okay we will get here a continue voltage okay so the same thing for this channel as you can see the same steps for this channel okay here as you can see we have the vein okay here we have the vein as you can see here we have several capacitors the voltage here will pass through these capacitors okay and directly it will be present here in the drain of, the, if, of this MOSFET once this MOSFET receive the control signal it will it will let the voltage to pass to the next terminals here and then we will get here one point volt that will pass through inductor in order to increase the, the current and through this electrolytic capacitor in order to make the, the voltage a continue voltage okay so here please pay attention here as i told you before we will get here about one point volt the voltage will go in this direction and also will go in this direction, as you can see, directly to the IC. Because the AC also needs to know about the voltage. Is it a correct voltage or not? Okay, so here we have this the second MOSFET here in the both channels are used to eliminate the extra voltage as I told you before because if we want for example to get here 1 volt and we get for example 2 volt the extra voltage or, or, or the residual voltage should be eliminated by this MOSFET that is connected to the ground as, as you see here okay so now let's see do 3 volt 5 volt circuit and study it so this is basically 3 volt always as you can see here and 5 volt always okay so let's trace the voltage here so let's first know about the component here in this circuit always the same working principle in every laptop in the world okay any laptop should have the same working principle okay so here we have the IC as you can see we have two MOSFETs okay of course we have two channels this channel is for 3.3 volt as you see here okay so this channel is for 3 volts as you can see here and here we have another channel for 5 volt as you can see here we have 5 volt and here we have 3.3 volt so in every channel what should we find it's we have inductor okay so we have the current sense resistor in order to sense the current and to get the right current we have the electrolytic capacitor to filter the voltage and we have the diode for protection 
purposes. So let's trace and track the voltage here in 3 volt voltage. Okay? In 3 volt channel. So here we have the VN about 19 volts. So this VN will pass directly to these three capacitors in order to be filtered and then will go directly to the drain of this MOSFET. So once this MOSFET is activated or controlled by this IC, as you can see, we have to drive high because this is the higher MOSFET. Okay, we have drive high. And for this MOSFET, we have drive low. Okay, for this MOSFET. So once these two MOSFETs are activated and controlled, or receive the control signal, the voltage will pass through this MOSFET. And here we will get how much? We will get 3.3 volt. Okay. Here we have 19 volt. In this point, here we will get 3.3 volt because this is a voltage regulator. Then this 3.3 volt will go directly and pass through this inductor in order to increase the current. And then here we have the current sense resistor. This current sense resistor will confirm and, and check whether the signal has the enough current. Okay, that's why this current sense resistor, as you can see, is connected to this IC here because this is the control IC. Then the voltage will pass directly through these two capacitors. This is a filtering capacitor. If you see here, we have the capacity of this capacitor is 330 microfarad, 6.3 volt. Okay, this capacitor will filter the current in order to get a continue current over here. We will get a continue current. Okay, so the diode here, as you can see, is here in order to protect the other side of the circuit. This is a protection component okay that's why its anode is connected to the ground so for this circuit also the same working principle as you can see here we have the vn about 19 volt it will pass directly through these capacitors and then goes to this mosfet this mosfet will be controlled or drive it by this ic then the voltage will pass directly here of course this mosfet also will be received the control signal here so for example here we should get 5 volt okay we should get 5 volt if we get 6 volt this mosfet will eliminate the extra voltage and connect it directly to the ground so the 5 volt that we will get here will pass directly, as you can see, through this inductor in order to increase the current and through this current sense resistor in order to check, to check whether the voltage is correct or the current is correct or not. As you can see, this current sense resistor is connected directly to the IC, as you can see here, in order to check the IC will check whether the current is enough or not. Then the voltage will pass through this component, this two ceramic or capacitors. Here we have one ceramic capacitor and another electrolytic capacitor in order to make the voltage or the current a continue in order to make the signal continue signal and then we have here a diode in order to protect the circuit okay so that's it guys for today i hope that you understand a little bit about how to trace the voltage in this two circuit of course i advise you to repeat this video two or even three times in order to master how to trace voltage and please don't forget to subscribe share and like because your engagement motivate me to create more videos for you thank you very much and see you in the next video